Hey there. Didn't see you there. Well, how about you join me for a magical adventure through the world of No Respawn Studios. Basically what we do is we play games, and we play games for you guys. <laughs> that, my friends, was very corny. But it was the good kind of corny. But, uh, that's besides the point. Let's see, I'm Lavi, and, uh, we're, I'm just one of three other members of No Respawn. We're a total of four. We're in the process of getting one more, uh, but we'll talk about him later, when the time comes, of course. Um, basically, we, we just like to play games for you guys. Let's play, basically. Um, we're, uh, we're just trying to get a bigger community. I mean, we're not, we're not expecting much. We're just hoping to entertain some people because, uh, that's what we do. I mean, it gives us something to do. It makes me feel accomplished, especially since I've got all this free time and, you know, we take requests. We do take requests. So if you got a game and you want to see it done, you just leave a comment on our channel and boom, we got it. Also, if you want a specific uh, Let's Player to play the game for you, let's say uh, you want Drake to do uh, Call of Duty. You just got to specify, all right, what game you want and then put the name of the LP. Here, so that's it's it's pretty simple, and we do get back to your comments pretty fast. Uh, we're we barely started. No, we didn't barely start. We we've been up uh, doing this stuff for like four months now. Uh, we you could always use the support, and uh, you know criticism is very helpful. I mean, sure, it doesn't matter if you guys are being harsh or anything, as long as you give us some criticism, because. Uh, how are we ever going to learn what we're doing is wrong when no one leaves a comment? By the way, funny story. So, uh, Dinan does the Mega Man series. He's on a break right now. And, uh, for some reason, for like, the past seven, eight Mega Man, uh, videos he uploaded, there's always this one guy that just thumbs him down. And he mentions this in his, one of his videos, and he's like, Alright, and whoever's thumbing me down, come on, just at least leave me a comment telling me what happened what I'm doing wrong but you know it never happens and he just rages a little bit and we laugh he doesn't and he just dies a little on the inside watch bitch got rocked right here boom all right this is where I shine what's that oh no get out of my way get out of my way I'm about to clear shit up look at that boom boom by the way when I play games I play them good I play them professional like see that boom ring out how did I see that? Cause I got the eyes of the tiger, baby. Boom! Look at that! Look at that! Rubbing my chin. Um. Basically, you're gonna see a lot from us. We are very active. We upload at least one video a day. So far, we're almost getting to the point where we upload two videos. Different series. We do them weekly. You know, if we don't upload, there's a reason for it. And uh, don't worry. Don't worry. We, we never drop a series when we started. So, if we're hating on a game, we're gonna bitch about it. But, uh, we're gonna have a very fun time hearing us bitch about it, because we like to do it a lot. And I guess this is where we'll end the video. As I pose and destroy the money ball. Yeah, that was all me. You'll get to see the stats in a bit. And, uh, I guess this is it for my portion of the video. Um, I guess after, uh, I show you the stats, we'll just be moving on with Kite and he'll explain whatever the hell I left out. Oh hey there, didn't see you there, I was just on the front lines preparing for a massive Takeda charge. Anyways, um, this is Kite from No Response Studios and right now what you're seeing is Shogun 2 gameplay. Uh, currently I am doing the Metroid series, I just finished the first Metroid game on NES a while ago and right now I'm taking a break on it and doing Battle Game Wars just because I like it. Uh, anyways, uh, once I'm done with that I'll get back on to doing some other Metroid games or the next one at least. Uh, yeah. So about Shogun 2, this is not one of the games that I'm currently playing and recording. I just recorded this because it's pretty fun and I think entertaining to see, you know, samurais kill each other. It's 
pretty cool, you know. Uh, yeah, well, anyways, uh, give you some uh, context of what's happening here. This is a custom battle on Shogun 2. And uh, we have the Oda versus the Takeda armies. I am the Oda, the guys in yellow, and Takeda are the enemy, the guys in red. They're coming by and uh, trying to overrun me. So my troops consist of a cannon troop, uh, fire rocket troops, uh, three uh, Yari Samurai or Spear Samurai, one Spear Peasant troop, and uh, two Monk Matchlock troops, and one Samurai Matchlock troops. The other side consists uh, of a huge amount of uh, spear and sword troops as well as a ton of cavalry anyways uh, yeah so if you want to see more Shogun 2 just tell me but there's not much to do in terms of story because it's pretty open-ended uh, yeah that's all about that um, yeah uh, but yeah in my honest opinion, I think uh, Dinian's videos are the most entertaining because uh, he rages a lot, and I've seen it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, ima imagine that, but when we're playing games together, it's very entertaining. I, 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 I can pretty much guarantee it's more entertaining than what you see in these, these, these videos, although they're pretty entertaining here. Especially the Ninja Gaiden video. <laughs> ah, that was very interesting. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah. Um, not sure. Oh, uh, I apologize for the sound quality here, but I tried to fix it. This is the best I could get out of it. My computer, I, I don't know. Uh, I'm usually the one with the computer technical problems. The other one would be Drake sometimes, but yeah. Sometimes I may not get a video out just because that's the reason computer problems. I mean, there's not much I can do besides try to fix it. You know? I think that's what happens. But yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, look at them run! Look at all that. <laughs> uh,. That's what happens when you send a bunch of uh, cannon fodder against uh, well-trained troops, huh? What is it that they say in war? Well, actually, we'll talk about some other time. We're getting almost out of time here, and uh, we're about to introduce Drake here. He's coming up pretty soon. Right. About now, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. Oh, hello there. Didn't see you. What a bizarre hmm. show. I guess I'd probably introduce myself. My name is Drake. I'm one of the four, soon to be five, L peers of No Response Studios. This is a game I'm going to be doing in the future after I do the one for it. Alice. Uh, oh, sorry. America McGee's Alice. Keep wanting to say Alice Manage Returns. This was, which is what this is. The reason we have this instead of something like Portal or the other games I'm playing because it fits a little better thanks to the combat in it following Monday Night Combat and Shogun 2. As you can tell, this isn't your Walt Disney's Alice. This is creepy, cool, I like it, and uh, slightly disturbing Alice Madness Returns. Obviously you probably pick up from the title. That's a way, way to go in it. It's pushed off the, slightly pushed off the edge of a cliff. Anyway, as, as the games I'm not doing at the moment, the games I am doing, the games I'm doing right now are The Legend of Zelda, The Adventure of the Link, Mega Man Battleship Network 1, 
the world's in those two and Portal 2. You can probably guess from my what I mentioned already. The games are already finished, are the first Legend of Zelda and the first Portal. Anyway, so yeah, it may have combat, but Alice Madness Returns is mainly a platformer. You can tell from the traditional swinging. Okay, maybe not traditional swing headless spiky babies, but swing obstacle with the button on the other side. And there's always a time trial. In this case, it you use your weapon, a little time bomb right here, to get across. But there's always enemies. Well, not always, but they're around to spice things up. This game I'm really looking forward to playing. Not looking forward to playing the first one though. The uh, jumping isn't as kind as this one. Not at all. Anyway, like I was saying, when one of the four LPers didn't uh, the Labian tight or the uh, end soon to be a variety of ours named Easy is uh, the other ones. Right, right here, or coming up, right about, here we go. <laughs> lost my timing right there. Is a cutscene I chose to be in here is because it gets across how dark this game is compared to the other ones That's I'm playing. That's quite enough actually. of that, I think. Enough preliminaries. Like, Here's the performance you've been honestly, waiting for. Prove that I'm without I prejudice well and known. have a fine read the book. sense of humor. Alice in Wonderland. Sword and crown you wouldn't have here. I invite stones. everyone to dance. Nor a walrus walrus with a scythe. This life and he wouldn't have this. Random death. No, not at all. That'd make children so cry. So in this case, by actually it's kind of messed up. I laughed during this cutscene a little bit. That is a messed up, messed up cutscene. Like, oh, that's bad enough that he's killing them. Well, he not only kills them, no one he eats them. I often must work very hard, hmm, I had myself a little bit. My there we go. The now dance, he eats them. I then must rest. And, and Alice is, of course, pissed off because begin. he's sitting up on stage uh, eating the dancers eat. that Death you had to go get. Equalizer. Which really pissed me or off, actually, right after I realized he's eating them because I just did the entire puzzle and find the enemies and all that stuff to get them. Push. And he just freaking sitting there and so to speak. eating my popcorn. Wicked thing. Feasting fat. while Wonderland is destroyed. Freaking walrus. I'm not the enemy you seek, anyway, Alice. but that gets I across what I wanted to. How dark this Appeasement's Aww, never clean. That's horrid. We must all play our assigned like, uh, roles. Ah, squish. Are you a pawn no. or a queen? An idiot or a fly out. However, this but turns out I'm starting to run out of time, and the cutscene is about to end, so by whom? probably no. should be calling it quits here. Who said that bloody hope, you guys stay, hope you guys Where subscribe and all that stuff, and give us some nice comments that instead of like leaving just thumbs down like Din's Mega Man videos for a few while there. It's kind of funny. And all it didn't take for me. So, later. Oh, hey! Didn't see you there. Sorry about that. Sitting on your tail and chilling out, even though you're a little hot, but that's okay. Don't worry about it. Hey guys, this is Din from No Respawn Studios, and I am the last one to show this off a uh, little Devil May Cry 4 uh, video. I will be playing this game and series later. I'm actually going to be trying to be doing all of them on Dante Must Die mode and show you guys uh, pretty much everything including all the boss fights and all that shit. And if I can't for some reason do it, then I'll dumb down the difficulty and show you guys because there's just some things I'm, I can and can't do. I was actually screwing up right here. I kept, I thought I had Swordsman on, but I thought I had Trickster because I was willing to charge up that sword and do that. And I also didn't realize that I'm not charging that sword up long enough until this video, so I kind of look like a nub, but at the same time I knew what I was doing, but I wasn't... I thought that that was the max charge. I didn't know that you can hold it a little bit longer and then it gives that extra charge on it. And it, Because basically for this fight, you can just do that sword charge and you can knock out his fire in one hit and then you can run over to him and then you can heal drop him with uh, Dante's uh, knuckle duster gloves and his uh, like plate boots or whatever the hell he has. But anyways, not the thing. Anyways, most of... Um, well, this video has been, it's been pretty long, and I hope you guys have enjoyed it and uh, stayed around for the best part. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> stayed around for Dumb May Cry, at least, because, I mean, who doesn't like da Dumb May Cry and Dante? I mean, come on, Dante, man, Dante. It's a fucking badass. But, um, come over and visit our channel. See if you like any of our stuff. You can always suggest stuff. 
And that's what I'm talking about. He loses his fire and then you can get in there. And then once he gets on the ground, you can do some heavy damage to him. Which I think I knock him down in a minute. Obviously, I'm not playing this on Devil or Dante Must Die mode because I didn't take a lot of damage. This is actually my normal playthrough. I'm practicing my combos and making sure I know how to do everything before I move on. And uh, I got the gist of it, so it's all good. Uh, I've been playing Mega... Oh, oh, yeah, I guess I should mention the series I've played. I have been playing Mega Man and Final Fantasy. I already have Mega Man 1, 2, and 3 done right now. I have Mega Man 4, 5, and 6 pre-recorded already with the voices already done for it. I just am waiting to upload it after I finish Final Fantasy 1, so it gives me a bit of time to learn Final Fantasy 2 again. Because I kind of forgot it, and yeah, I remember 3, 4... I don't rem really remember 5, and I remember the rest of them after that, but I need to practice 2 and 5, if anything. So, yeah, it's just get it's basically there to give me a little time. I'm also recording Ninja Gaiden right now, but um, it's more of a, I'm not going to upload that until I have it the like, full game done, because that game is hard as shit. You guys don't even know, that game is hard. Holy crap. <laughs> I... I can't tell you how much I have raged inside that game and Mega Man. Hell, I even raged in Final Fantasy 1. I mean, if you like hearing someone bitch and rage and scream and cry <laughs> and all of that fun stuff, then you're probably going to love me. By the way, that was almost an epic kill because, yeah, he was charging me. I was charging my sword. If it would have held a little longer, I would have done it. Oh, well. But, uh... Here's a badass cutscene with Dante, so uh, I might just let him play and not very, not talk very much. But I know I'm going to, because I can't shut up. Here's what I do. Really, the only time I ever shut up is whenever I don't have anything to say. Oh, Dante, you badass. Look at that. How can you not love him? I mean, Nero's cool. He's inside Devil May Cry 4. He's cool and all, but I really love Dante. I have always been a Dante fan since Devil May Cry 1 and 2. Um, I liked 1 and 3 the most out of all of them, and 4 is pretty good, but I just kind of wish you played Dante more instead of Nero, but it's okay. Anyways, this is an introduction to one of his new weapons that he gets, and I've been practicing combos with it as well. It's pretty fun, it's kind of fun to use, and he's actually going to show it off a little bit. <laughs> oh man, Dante, you are so, so ridiculous, and I love it. Oh man. I don't even want to talk. He's got the Spanish stuff going on. He's firing these everywhere. But anyways, come over to our channel and subscribe to us. And, uh, you know, if you don't, then, uh, I mean, that's cool and all, but that'll really break not only my heart, but no response heart, just like this. So, subscribe if you love us, and if you don't, then it's okay. We understand. So, thanks for stopping by. Hope you guys enjoyed the video little preview of our channel and um, give us some feedback if anything hell if you don't even like it give us a thumbs down tell us why I mean that's all about what LPs are for is figuring out what you're doing wrong and stuff so I'll see you guys later adios I just realized I have some more time oh well <laughs> that's his taunt by the way peace